So in many ways, the modern international environmental uh, movement started with the Stockholm Environment Conference convened by the United Nations in 1972. It then led to the so-called Earth Summit, the UN Conference on Environment and Development in Rio de Janeiro in June of 1992. That was an extraordinary meeting. It still is the record holder for the greatest number of world leaders convened in a single place. And it also gave birth to the three so-called Rio conventions, the three major international environment conventions, climate change, biological diversity, and the one on combating desertification. Those were landmark achievements. They actually were pretty well designed. They could have achieved more with bits of difference in design, bits of difference in application. I mean, for example, the Convention on Biological Diversity, in my view, spent an inordinate amount of time focused on straightening out access and benefit sharing, when it should have actually been spending more time and resources on actual protection of biological diversity and not worrying about the whole access and benefit sharing as much as they did. They created the Global Environment Facility to help developing countries meet their obligations under these conventions. And I think that has worked reasonably well over time, except it's never been at the scale it should be. It's basically a billion dollar a year fund, and that's just insufficient uh, for what needs to be taken on. There was another part of Rio Plus 20, which I think the environmental historians will one day show to have actually made a really big difference was called Agenda 21, and it was a very elaborate sustainable development agenda that most countries, particularly developing countries, actually embraced and started to truly implement. The biggest piece promised in Rio that didn't come to pass was a major portion of international development aid to go into these various aspects of getting a more sustainable environmental future. And that just simply never was delivered. There have been a lot of good projects out there and a lot of good sort of moves forward, but a lot of it just hasn't actually happened at the necessary scale. We are here in 2017, just a year away from the first true climate agreement, the Paris Agreement, and again without a lot of funds to help the countries of the world make that transition, it says that we just we are falling behind uh, relative to the challenge. That said, when I first set foot in the Amazon in 1965, here was an area as big as the 48 contiguous United States, really big area. And in 1965, there was literally one highway, three million people total, and one national park, which was in Venezuela, and one demarcated indigenous reserve, the Xingu Reserve, which was in Brazil. Today, something on the order of 50%, 57% of the Brazilian Amazon is under some form of protection. The Amazon as a whole, all eight countries, uh, plus French Guiana, are together in excess of 50%. It's really important to look back at what has been achieved, even at the same time as one is measuring how much more actually needs to be done. So that's, that's sort of the broad framework. But then other good things have happened. So sustainability has become uh, pretty central to most of the development banks. Some do it better than others, but it's there. And the real issue here is to get people to think about this at the scale it demands and with the urgency it demands. There's nothing quite equivalent to it in human history other than major world wars that require the attention of the world. You know, like now's the time to do something while you can. We did have a great achievement in the Paris Agreement. Is it enough? No. But is it the first time all the nations of the, of the planet agreed to some common goals? Yes. And even though the United States has signaled that it's going to withdraw, it actually takes four years to withdraw. So it may be that two or three years down the line, the United States will decide to back off of withdrawing. But in the meantime, other nations have only strengthened their resolve. 
You have something like the Inter-American Development Bank, the main purpose of which is now focused on sustainability. Is it enough? No. Are we going fast enough? No. But are there hopeful signs? You betcha.